For this stem bite, I like to have some fun with food coloring. Maybe this is weird, but I've always thought it was really cool how drops of food coloring look when they go into a big glass of water. I just love the crazy patterns that you start to see as it swirls around. Sometimes you get different kinds of drops depending on how high from the water you go. Dude, it's like a ring. That is so cool. I'm gonna make a blue ring. Oh yeah. Dude, that is amazing, what the heck? I could totally like look at this for hours, but there's actually some science behind here. In fact, a lot of biological systems depend on the same process called diffusion. So what causes diffusion? Well, we can get a hint by comparing the speed or rate of diffusion between two liquids. Ah, it's hot. I have one glass with really hot water and one glass with really cold water. I'm gonna put some food coloring drops in each one and we'll see which one diffuses faster. All right, red for hot, blue for cold. One, two, three. In the hot water, the water molecules are moving around much, much faster. In the cold water, they're moving way slower. We can already start to see the red food coloring is spreading throughout the water faster. This is because as the molecules move around really quickly, they're moving the food coloring molecules along with them, spreading them all the way through the water. If you imagine this entire glass of water is like a living cell, when I put some food near that cell, it'll slowly spread throughout the whole cell through this process we call diffusion. Who knew diffusion could be so psychedelic? Stand by.